Hi and welcome to another Unity tutorial on Unity's new input system. Now we'll be working with UI in this tutorial. So if you have not seen a previous tutorial on getting started with the new input system, then I strongly suggest you go back and watch that video before continuing with this. Welcome to Vinex Studio. Let's start making games. So in our previous video, we saw how to create a new input action asset and how to create an action map, how to create actions and we created a jump action so when the player presses the spacebar, a debug log is displayed. So creating a virtual controller is very simple using the new input system if you already have an action map setup. Adding UI, accessing UI from script will be same as it was in the old input system. You will need to change things only if you had a virtual controller on screen. Also the event system of the UI will not work with the old input system. You will have to make some changes for that. First let's see how to enable a UI object using the action map that we created in the last tutorial. So let's just add a UI image to our scene. So UI image and let's just disable it. Now let's open our player controller script that we created in our last tutorial. So as you can see it just enables the action map and subscribes to the event and whenever the spacebar is pressed it will debug log a message. So I'm going to reference the image as a game object. So let's just go and say serialize field and we'll say game object and we'll call this image. When the player presses the jump key we are going to say image dot set active so let's go back to unity and see if it works so let's first assign the image to our script and now let's play the game you can see that the image is inactive now if i press the spacebar the image is active so enabling ui is same as how it was in the old input system the only thing is how you access the spacebar key is different if you select the event system which was added with the canvas you will get an error in the standalone input module component because the standalone input module component was configured to work with the old input system. Now that we have changed to the new input system, your pointer events and your drag handlers won't work. So for them to work, you need to change this. Thankfully, Unity provides a simple way to do it. You just have to click this button, replace with input system UI input module. So once you click that, Unity replaces the component with the updated one. So this is for the new input system. So if you want to edit it, you can just double click and it opens up the action map for you and you can edit whatever you want. You can also create your own action map for the UI and replace this. There are two important components that you should know about with the new input system. The first is the on-screen button and the second is the on-screen stick. So in the old input system, if you want to add a button, you just go and go to UI and add a button. If you want to mimic a virtual controller, then it is better to use the on-screen button rather than the actual button UI component. For example, we are enabling the image when the spacebar is pressed. Say you want to create a UI button, which does the same thing. So it's much simpler in the new input system and you can do it without any code. So for that, let's add another UI image. The reason I'm not adding a button is because I'll be using the on-screen button component. So I'm just going to rename this to button and the image which you are now calling as button just go ahead and click on add component if you search for on screen then you will get two options on screen button and on screen stick so let's select on screen button and once you select the on screen button you will have an option of control path so you can directly map this on screen button to a button on your gamepad or keyboard so let's map it to the spacebar of the keyboard. So let's click on the listen button and press the spacebar and select the spacebar. So now there's an image here which acts as the button. And there's another image which is disabled. And let's just move this button image to the sides. So let's move it by 200. So it's on the right side. So this button is now linked to the spacebar key. And in our player controller, we are just seeing when the spacebar is pressed, we enable the other image. So now if you play the game and you click on the button that is on the screen, you can see that the image is set active and we did not press the spacebar in the keyboard. So if you already have an action map for your gamepad, you can just go here and select the gamepad button for that. Similarly, Unity also provides a way to create an on-screen stick 
which will be very similar to your left and right stick on your gamepad. Let's rename this to stick. And uh, stick generally looks like a knob, so let's just use the Unity knob. Yeah, that looks more like a controller. Now we can remove the on screen button component and we'll add another component called on screen stick. So it basically gives you a moment range that is how many pixels you want to move in each direction. And the control path, you can just select gamepad and you can select any left stick or right stick depending on how you configured your action map. Then if you play the game, so we don't have an action map that is configured for the gamepad. So we'll just see how the UI works. So you can see that the UI is limited and it's just both. It's just functioning like a joystick. So as you can see, creating an on-screen virtual controller is very simple using the new input system. So if you have a game that is already working on the keyboard and you want to port it to Android or iOS, you can do it very easily using the same action map and you don't have to code anything. You just have to add the on-screen buttons and you have to map them correctly and you're good to go. In the next tutorial, we'll be seeing how to move a player using the new input system. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share.